as an old father of these two little creatures right up there. You see them? Well, they keep me busy along with their mom. And if you are thinking about relocating anywhere in Osceola County, which is basically Kissimmee, Celebration, St. Cloud, the suburban area, and you got these creatures like the one I have, the little one, then this video is for you because in this video, I'm going to talk about the top schools right here in Osceola County. Let's have a look. Let's go. Hello and welcome to another episode of Orlando Living with D. And if this is your first time, press the thumbs up button and show me some love because I bring you community videos all throughout Central Florida, Greater Orlando, Tampa, Tampa Bay, and Ocala. And if you are thinking about relocating to any part of Central Florida, I have a very extensive playlist where I've gone into the suburban areas. I've done videos talking about school, hospital, shopping, dining, and talking about school. I've got these two little kids that keep me busy with their mom and I'm running around trying to take care and I love schools, you know, when they go to school, it's like, wow, it's peaceful. So in this video, I'm gonna be talking about the top five schools located in Osceola County. When it comes to Osceola County, some of the top cities of Osceola County is Celebration. This is where I am doing the video. You also have Kissimmee, you have St. Cloud. So this is just a point of reference for you because I know a lot of people when they are relocating, especially when they have kids, they're always kind of looking like, you know, a lot of people move and schools are important. And I know that because, you know, as a father of these two little creatures, I guess I would say, you know, what do you call your kids? Creatures or little humans or I don't know, monsters? I don't know, whatever you call, but these two boys, Oh my God, it's a lot of work and I don't know. Sometimes we come across people, they have like four, five, six kids and like kudos to you. I don't know how you manage that, but back to the video. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about the top five school. Now there is no right or wrong. This is just my research looking at what schools are available. It's a combination of both private and government school to give you, my viewer, a little point of reference. So when you're thinking about relocating to understand, hey, what is the infrastructure of schools like? And if you want to know more about that, specifically in one suburban area as compared to other, make sure to watch the playlist. So without further delay, let's get into it. So first off the list is the celebration kindergarten to the eighth grade school it has about 1600 students as its capacity it focuses mainly on strong academics and community involvement it's located right in the community designed by disney which is celebration and if you're lucky enough and you're living in this community there's so many events that happens you have a fourth of july fireworks you also have a christmas in the snow and if you're lucky enough you might able to also see the disney fireworks almost every night so this is one of my favorite school and and it's just among the top schools uh, in Osceola County now let's get into the another one which is also located in this community For all the high schoolers or the, the kids that are getting into high school, you know, Celebration High School is a great option in Osceola County, located right here in Celebration. Um, at the time of the shoot, at the capacity of the school is just about 2,600 students. And one thing that is very unique about this is that they have STEM curriculum, which is basically science, technology, engineering, and math. So they have curriculum focus on that. But also as a high schooler, you can actually earn credits to get into college they have advanced placement and they also focuses on developing the leadership skills that we all need uh, as as you kind of get into that real life situation so this is a very good school and it is a public school so as long as you are in that uh, zoning for the school you'll be able to send your kids to the school now prices and celebration in terms of housing is a little bit more expensive whereas a little bit in the outskirts it's a little bit better now for the most part both with or, or with most of the central florida counties you know you have the uh, option to be able to send your kids to any of the school through a lottery system of course private school is something that you have to go through their own uh, rigorous enrollment procedures to be able to do that so finally, talking about high schools, the next school that I have is the St. Cloud High School, which is one of the oldest schools in Osceola County. You know, St. Cloud High School has been a long-standing tradition of academic achievement and school pride, known for its strong athletic programs, advanced placement courses, and vocational training options. St. Cloud High School helps students develop both academically and personally. 
The school fosters a close-knit community feel and make it a standard choice for families in the area. I'm standing right outside the Osceola County School for Arts, and if you have a little one that is more into the dramatics and stuff like that, then this would be a great option for them. You know, one of the unique feature about the school is that you actually have to audition to be able to get in into the school. Now, this school has a capacity of about 900 students, and it serves from grade six to 12, and this little guy, is quite dramatic, so I can't wait till he gets into grade six. Maybe I'll put him into the school, which will fit in all the dramatics that I see at home. I'll put in the comment below, how is your little ones? Do they kind of get into all the drama and stuff? Following on to the next goal. So I'm a little bit deeper into the Kissimmee suburban area. I'm actually standing right outside the Neptune Middle School, which has a capacity of about 1,200 students. And I'm right at the border of Kissimmee and St. Cloud. This is one of the topmost school here in uh, Osceola County. And it's focused mainly on technology and science and academics. It also has a STEM program uh, for career and technical education pathway for our younger generation to take. You know, Neptune Middle School is one of the favorites among the locals and for the people living in that area. It also focuses on the robotic, like, like they have the robotic club and sports and academic. Now, just down the road, you also have the Harmony High School, which is actually located in a beautiful community of Harmony, which has a capacity of about 2,500 students. and they focus is mainly on the academic placement courses. Uh, it has dual uh, enrollment opportunities and have a strong focus on environmental science with a beautiful campus uh, fostering leadership and Harmony High School ensures that the students are actually prepared for college and beyond. On a much personal note, there are so many things about the schools that I have to tell you that there is no possible way that I'll be able to do that in just a short video. And by any means, this video is not your guide, but it kind of gives you some point of reference and when it comes to schools in Osceola County, because you know, you're know you gonna do your own research, but this is something that's going to assist you. And if you are looking to buy that brand new home anywhere in Central Florida, Orlando, Greater Orlando, Tampa, Tampa Bay, and Ocala, make sure to check out Orlando Home Show where I bring you 8 plus models all throughout these areas and we also have Orlando Home Show in Espanol where we bring you these model homes. My whole goal here is to kind of give you the information because there's so much growth that is happening all over Osceola County and in Central Florida, all across Central Florida, that new schools are coming up, the school zoning lines are changing. So by the time this video is out and by the time you get your kids in, you know, things may also change. So that is something that you want to always be checking on. I hope that uh, my video does give you some good, important information. And if it does, please do me a favor, press that thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel because it's free for you, but it's going to tremendously help me so that I can have my videos in front of the right people that are looking, trying to get some information before they make a decision which Central Florida part they want to relocate to. Until the next video, thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.